Hey guys, welcome back to my kitchen name. Uh, today is April the 13th. Yeah, Monday, April 13th. Yesterday was Easter, so happy belated Easter to everybody. Um, I didn't make a video in the last couple of days. I think the last video I put out was Friday, and it was a tutorial. But it's just because the weekend, Devin was off finally. So we, we had a lot of family time, and we watched some uh, Redbox movies. My mom gave us a code and some cupcakes for Jesse. She brought them over here and left them on the, the uh, not the front porch, but like the sidewalk out in front of our door. <laughs> we live in an apartment, but like, but anyway, she left it out there and knocked and like ran off. And uh, Easter cupcakes and a Redbox movie was taped on top of that the code <laughs> anyways um so we watched movies and uh just ate cupcakes i don't really like cupcakes so that's good but um what was i saying oh yeah and then easter we had jesse's easter saturday and i did take some clips of that so i might pop some in at the end um and then sunday it stormed all day yesterday uh pretty rough too so actually yesterday evening when it started getting closer to us and a lot worse we went to my in-laws, all three of us did, and we took our stuff in case we needed to stay the night because they have a storm shelter and we don't here. So uh, it was supposed to get really bad, uh, tornadoes and stuff again, and we've had them the last two months <laughs> uh, in our area. So we didn't want to risk being at the apartment when something like that happened. So we went over and we hung out all day and it was all fun. And uh, we ended up coming home last night at 11 something because we kept eye on the radar and the big huge system that was where all the tornadoes and all that was coming from uh just barely missed us it was a little bit more east than we are um so luckily it was just flowing the right way to miss us and it did hit a lot of people obviously and hopefully everybody's okay but i know it hit alabama and mississippi and parts of georgia real bad and i'm guessing it went on up through virginia the direction it was going so i'm hoping that it's not too too bad for people it looks a little stormy right now here, but nothing bad. Anyways, yarn. <laughs> Last time I updated, I was working on a one ball shawl by Marley Bird, and I was using a Knitology Knit Crate yarn, bouncy worsted, and I can't remember the color. I think it was Equation or something like that, but I finished it. It's a one ball shawl, but it's technically two balls because this was two hanks, but they were small hanks. It was only 360 yards, so it's basically just one ball of yarn, <laughs> um, yardage-wise. But it's so pretty. I like it a lot. I love these colors. Beautiful, beautiful colors. And uh, this is definitely going to be worn a lot by me this this coming fall. Cause I think the colors are pretty. I just have to find a, a shirt that matches it. <laughs> but hopefully I can do that, and it'll be a smaller size than I'm currently in, so it's all good. But I like it a lot. This is 100% wool yarn, but it's super wash merino, so it's really soft. It's not itchy at all. And so far, I've not had any issues with the wool, but alpaca, I do not like. <laughs> I'm allergic to alpaca. Pretty bad. Like, that knit crate that I'm giving away, which I'm waiting till all this corona stuff is over with, is still sitting over in its box, and I don't even go near it, because last time I opened it, I got a really bad allergic reaction, and I don't want to end up going to the hospital during all this. But yeah, I just love these colors beautiful bright colors and I would love to have more of this yarn because it's so pretty but that's okay and uh yeah so I think I like it a lot so that's my one ball shawl by um Mar Marley Bird is it Marley Bird yeah and then I started a new shawl out of this yarn that I was gifted I wind this up it's Karen Simply Soft print paints and the colorway was rainbow bright I have two balls of it and the shawl that I made, I mean another shawl, <laughs> uh, took up all of one ball, but this much. So I have enough if I want to make another one, but I'm not going to. I'm going to make something else with that. I'm going to shawl kick lately, but just because it's easy and mindless. But this is the same shawl I made the other day. It's not done yet. i, I got to add the fringe. So I'll be making the fringe out of this, I guess. Um, it's called the Fringe Triangle Shawl by Melody Crochet. And I used my new in-hook that was gifted to me that I got in the mail. And that's the first one I made, I made with the K-hook, I think, because I didn't have it in. But now, since I got the in, I made this one with the in. So it's got much bigger openings. And this is so squishy and soft. I do still have to add the fringe. And I think I messed up down here at the bottom. I think I decreased too fast or something because it's like making that weird shape. I don't know. Um, but I'm going to add the fringe and hopefully that'll help straighten it out. I don't know. But I love this color. The colors of this is so pretty. And it's super soft and squishy. And again, it's another 
one of these top. And then just imagine it with the multicolor fringe around it. See, I messed up the bottom of that. I, I finished this yesterday when I was at my in-laws. I might not have been paying attention. But I still think it's cute. <laughs> and I'm going to add the fringe and make it even cuter. But I love how big and open it is. And it's so squishy because the stitches are so open. It's squishy, squishy. But yeah, so I finished that one. Other than the fringe. I'll do that later. And then i got to figure out what to do with this other ball. How many yards is it? 235 yards. I don't know, but I love this color. It's so pretty. And there's what it looks like wound up. Really short color changes, but I like it. And then I pulled out another ball. This is a ball of cotton that I bought around last February, I think it was. Not this last February, but last year's February. When me and Devin and my mom and father-in-law and Jesse, we went on a like a week-long trip to Gatlinburg. On the way back, we stopped at a local yarn store in uh, the county next to me. Uh, it's in Crossville, Tennessee. It's called uh, the Yarn Barn. But uh, I bought a hank of cotton yarn there. And it's from Well-Dressed Sheep. And it's 100% organic cotton. And it's DK weight and 315 yards. Oh, another rainbow. It's like a darker color rainbow. So pretty. It's thin. It says it's a DK, but I feel like it's thinner than that. But I'm planning on because it's 100% cotton, and uh, I'm thinking about making a market bag out of it. Some sort of market bag. I don't know. I have to look for a good pattern. But it is 315 yards, so I'm gonna try to uh, find a pattern that will go good with this yarn. And um, I already made one big market bag and a little one, and I want to make a couple more because hopefully soon <laughs> all this stuff will be over and things will get back normal. And um, we can start going to farmer's markets, and I need more bags. Because every time me and, Jesse, me and Devin go to farmer's markets, we end up buying a lot of stuff. So, um, I need more than one bag, that's what I'm saying. And I love this. I love rainbow colors, and I love pink, and this has both. <laughs> so, and this has really bright, hot pink, so I'm excited about that. But this is the label to it. It's called a Well Dressed Sheep. It was, when I bought it, it was almost $14. It was $13.95, which is pretty cheap for a hank. I don't know if it's hand dyed. I'm assuming it is. It just says organic cotton. The colorway is confetti. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm going to be starting this soon, maybe today. And I want to try to finish this fringe. So I can update you guys that on the next video if I get either of those done. But yeah, I wanted to hop in um, because I didn't make a video in a couple of days. And I knew when I started Veda, Veda that I wasn't going to do it consistently because I never do any of those consistently. I just pop in whenever I can think about it. But uh, I had a finished object. And I'm piling up all my finished objects. Because I am planning on filming a No Kitchen Name episode sometime this week. And um, just to have all the updates in one place. And the people who don't watch the Vedas can watch that. And uh, that way I can track it. Because I didn't track it all in March when I made it. Because all the Corona stuff was just starting to you know get up. And I was getting really stressed. So I didn't track what I made. I didn't take pictures of what I made. And I didn't do a video update in the beginning of April of what I made in March. But I want to pick that back up for April because I do want to try to keep track of everything that I make this year. And um, I want to be able to put it all in a video at the end of the month for you guys so that you can get all the patterns and all that in one place. And it would be easier for me if someone asks, oh, um, what pattern is that? Instead of me trying to remember or find it in one of my videos, I can just go to that monthly video and link you to that. That's the plan. But I didn't do that in March, but I also didn't crochet much in March because of all the stress. But I've chilled out a little bit in April, so um, I'm trying to get back into my routine. And uh, so this is going to go in the pile of finished objects, and I'll talk about them in the No Catch Name episode. But I'm going to go ahead and hop up here because it is morning time. I'm going to get a few minutes in of just chilling before Jesse wakes up. And then we got to go to the post office today, and we've got to go pay on our bed because um, we have a bed through a furniture store. And I can't get it to let me do it online. It keeps saying the account number's wrong, even though it's what's on our paperwork. So I'm going to go there and pay it today and then see if they can figure out why it's not working. So I can pay it online so I don't have to go there anymore. Because I don't like going anywhere with all this Corona stuff. But, um, yeah, got to do what you got to do. But, yeah, and our storm blew off the baby gate last night off the porch. So when Devin came over yesterday evening before we came back home, he came over to get something. And he's seen that, so he picked it up. But luckily, nothing else had blown over. All of our plants are inside. <laughs> they're all over this room right now. Because it's going to be getting cold all week, this week. So they're going to be living inside <laughs> um, everywhere until the weather warms back up. 
but they're all doing good. I'll update you guys on that in No Kitchen and Life on another vlog or something this week. If you're interested, check it out. My jalapenos finally did um, sprout. There's a big old male cardinal outside. I just saw him go bouncing over the baby gate. You hear that? That one tweet, tweet right there? That's a cardinal. <laughs> That's the cardinal's tweet. If you didn't know, <laughs> it's the male one. I hope you guys can hear that. I love birds. My favorite. <laughs> Our neighbor actually, uh, two permits down, she has birds. And every now and then she brings them out on her porch, her back patio. And you can hear them out there tweeting. They're, um, what are they called? They're those white and blue birds. My mom used to have one. I can't remember what they're called now. They're those common, whoops, it's the table. Those are common house birds people buy all the time. I can't remember what they're called though. It's a C word, I think. Oh, well. I'm sidetracking. I'm going to go ahead and hop off here because I want to get this video and another video I just filmed for the other channel up today because I'm a procrastinator. <laughs> but yeah, so, um, yeah, I guess I'll talk to you guys later. <laughs> and uh, I'm probably going to have to put out a vlog or something on this channel because I got a lot of stuff I want to update about Crafty Ella instead of just Life Ella um, sewing and stuff like that. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and hop off here because I'm, I'm doing it again <laughs> and I want to get this stuff done and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.